This audio is brought to you by Muslim Central. Please consider donating to help cover our running costs and future projects by visiting www.muslimcentral.com forward slash donate. Does making the hereafter our primary concern mean losing out on this life? I'm Yasmin Mujahid, and this is a tip on success and happiness. The Prophet ﷺ tells us in a very profound hadith about two worldviews and two groups that have those two worldviews. The first is a person who makes the hereafter their primary concern. And the second is a person who makes this life their primary concern. Now, each of these two worldviews have consequences that go along with them. In the first worldview, the person who makes the hereafter their primary concern, we are told that three things happen as a result. Number one is that their matters become joined. This is when things just come together and work out. Second is that God places contentment in the heart. And number three is that this life comes to that person even if it hates to do so. Now this life, whatever is meant for you will come to you anyway when you make the hereafter your primary concern. This is a very interesting point because it shows us that making the hereafter our primary focus does not mean losing out in this life, but rather the person who runs after the hereafter actually attains both the hereafter and this life. Now, when you look at the second focus, the Prophet ﷺ says that the second focus of making this life their primary concern, there are also three consequences that he mentions. Number one, he says, is that their their matters become scattered. This is a this is you know that feeling when no matter what you do in one aspect of your life, something might be working out, and then in five other aspects, it's falling apart. No matter what you do, you can't seem to find balance. You can't seem to bring things together. This is actually a consequence of making this dunya our primary focus. That things don't work out, that things become scattered, our affairs become scattered. Number two, the f- very interesting wording that the Prophet ﷺ used, جَعَلَ الْفَقْرُ بَيْنَ عينيه, which means that poverty is put between his eyes. Now if you think about a person who has poverty between his eyes or has anything hanging between his eyes, he or she can never avoid seeing it. It's something you always see. It's a feeling of never having enough. It's a feeling of always being a poor. It's a feeling of that I don't have enough. It's a lack of contentment. That when you make this life your primary concern, you never feel like you have enough and you always feel poor. You know, you have the new model of some gadget, but then you always feel like I need to get the next model. You have the new car and you want the next one. And then number three, is that this life does not come to him except what was written for him. So this this whole hadith really um, summarizes these two worldviews, and it teaches us that if we want success and happiness in this life, if we want contentment in this life, we actually need to chase the next life. And that chasing this life actually has the opposite effect, which is that our matters become scattered and we have discontentment in our hearts. If you benefited from this reminder, join me for my new class, Transformed, where we will talk about topics like this and many others, about how we can better our relationships with the Creator and the creation by transforming our hearts. I look forward to seeing you there.